If you've been around YouTube like ever, you are most likely aware of the white outline effect that is extremely common in thumbnails, including my own. And you've come to this video because you want to learn how to do it for yourself. Well, never fear, Anthony is here. I can show you how to do it right now. All right, here we are in Photoshop with a blank canvas of 1280 times 720. The first thing I'm gonna do is drag in my sample image from another monitor. Assuming that it's a raw photo, this window right here will pop up, and this is where you can make any basic edits before making the actual thumbnail. For something like the outline effect that we're going for here, it's important that your subject is well separated from the background. For the most part, I'm well lit and very clearly defined, but there is a part right here where my hair kind of blends into the background. So I'm going to address that by raising the shadows to about 50. I can also raise the exposure just a little bit. But yeah, those are just some basic corrections to make sure I stand out as much as possible. And that makes it easier for Photoshop later on. Hit OK, and then I'll resize the image to fit my canvas. All right, so as you might have guessed right now, I specifically want to outline myself in this photo. I'm going to make sure that the photo is selected by clicking on it right here. And then I'm going to go over to the quick selection tool, make sure it's set to this plus icon right here and then I'm just going to quickly paint over myself like so. You'll notice that it picked up some of the background as well. Again, that's why I was raising the brightness to make sure that I am well separated. I can just select the little minus button right here and then go in and carefully paint out the background. Once I'm happy with this, I can just right click on my mouse and I'm going to click on select and mask. And this is basically where you can make any last minute changes and make sure everything looks as good as possible. So just paint out that little bit right there. You can also use these controls right here to smooth out the edges. So I am going to do that real quick. Just bump up the smoothness by a ton. I'll then typically add some contrast to make sure the edges are nice and crisp. I don't typically mess with the feather button because you can see what that does. It basically defeats the whole purpose of me outlining myself in the first place, so we'll just keep it at zero. Once I'm happy with the way my selection looks, I am just going to click OK right here, and then you can see that it, the layer is still selected. Then I'm going to right click again and this time click on layer via copy. As you can see, it takes our selection and makes a brand new layer with it. I'll make sure that it's selected and then I'll go over to the layer tab and go over to layer style. There are a couple of options here. One of them is stroke. You can adjust the size of the outline. You can change whether it's on the inside or the outside of the layer. I obviously like to keep it on the outside. I also keep the outline to one solid color, usually white. And just like that, we've got a basic outline effect, but we are not done yet. Something else that I like to do to further separate my subject from the background is to add a drop shadow. You can change all of the different variables using these sliders. In this case, I'm just gonna make it a little bigger. I can also go down to the original photo, click on image, adjustments, exposure, and then I can make the background image just a touch darker. Again, that helps me stand out even more. Hit okay as always. From here, the outline effect is complete and I can design the rest of my thumbnail around it. In a lot of my thumbnails, I'll have this title bar at the top and then obscure part of it with my head. In order to do that, I can just grab my layer and drag it on top of the text like that. I can drag in a Photoshop logo that I found online. Just resize and position that correctly. I can go to layer style and click on stroke and it'll just apply the exact same settings to it. Hit okay. And just like that, we've got a YouTube thumbnail complete with the outline effect and everything. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to let me know by leaving a like. This is a remake of the same tutorial from 2019. So if you came from that video, hopefully you enjoyed the new and improved version. My channel is almost at 4,000 subscribers. So if you wanna help me out there, be sure to subscribe. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.